on a cold winter morning, you may find that it's very difficult to get up because the room is too cold. Let us explore in this video how to keep your room warmer during the winter without using too much energy. Before we do that, we have to understand that inevitably, if your room temperature is higher than the temperature outside, the heat will go out through conduction, convection, and radiation. So your temperature inside the room will decrease. The heat loss is actually a function of the temperature difference. The larger the temperature difference, the larger the heat loss. If the outdoor temperature is very low, we cannot stop the heat loss from your house, but we can slow it down so that the room is, becomes a bit warmer. One of the ways to do that is to stop unnecessary airflow. You can first check whether there are any windows that are left open. An open window will let in fresh air, but because the air outside is cold, it will also lower your room temperature. So closing the window will keep your apartment warmer and it is free. Even if you close all the windows, sometimes you may find out that there are air that comes in through the gaps of the window or below the door. So we can buy some of these insulators that seals the windows or the doors to prevent the air from coming in. It will cost some initial money, but it will also keep your room warmer. The next to look out for are the exhaust fan in the kitchen or the bathroom. They are used for ventilation, but when you turn it on, it will build up a negative pressure in your apartment, so there will be air coming in from other sides. A typical exhaust fan has a flow rate of about 50 cubic feet per minute. So if it is on, there will be an equivalent amount of fresh air that comes in. If you don't need the exhaust fan, you should turn it off and it is free. After we have reduced the amount of fresh air coming into your apartment, you can start reducing the heat loss through the windows. One of the effective methods to insulate the window is to use curtains. A thick and double layer curtains can reduce heat loss. It will cost some initial money, but the running cost is free. Another advantage of the curtains is that if it is sunny outside, you can open it, and if it is cold outside, you can close it to keep the room warm. You can see in this photograph that the window is typically cooler than the rest of the house on a winter day. So another way to insulate the window is to put in some insulating film on top of the window. The insulating film will cost some money, but the running cost is free. It is similar in ideas for an ice skating ring when it is not in use. Usually, they will put a layer of insulating film on the ice skating rink so that you will not have as much heat loss to reduce energy consumption for the ice skating rink. All the methods we have discussed so far can only reduce the heat loss. It is not going to increase the temperature of your room. If you find your room too cold, you will end up needing to put in heat into the room. The best heat source is actually the sun. If your room faces the sun, you can add in heat to warm up your room, like this and that. During noontime, the maximum solar irradiation is about 1000 watt per meter square. Depends on your size of your window, you can actually allow about a few hundred watts of heat coming into your room. If you don't have any sun, you can warm up your room by a heat fan or a radiator. A 1600 fan heater looks like this when it is on. If you have a 2000 watt radiator, this is what happens when you turn it on. It costs money to buy these radiators. But you have to be aware that actually the running cost is also very high. In order to generate 1600 watt, if you assume 12 hours a day of operation, your monthly electricity bill will go to about 500 to 600 Hong Kong dollars. Some new air conditioners actually also have heating modes. And these are what they call reverse cycle air conditioners. So how does it work? In a typical air conditioner, you actually take the heat from inside the house and dump it outside. And that's why at the back of the air conditioner, it's usually warmer. The heating mode in this air conditioner basically turns it around. You're taking the heat from outside and then put it inside. Because you are moving the heat instead of generating the heat, the running cost is actually lower. If you want 1,600 watt of heat, actually the electricity usage is only about 500 watts. So, if you assume 12 hours a day of operation, the monthly electricity bill is only about 180 to 200 dollars. So it's one third of the cost of a heater. But if you want some more fun while heating up your room, why not consider a hot pot party? A typical person generates about 100 watt of heat 
if you have six people and a 1200 watt hot pot, that is actually equivalent to a heater. So you can heat up the room and at the same time enjoy it with your friends. You can try out some of these methods and I hope you can stay warm in the cold winter days. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.